We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with TSLA stock, Tesla Inc. And Tesla stock has been having three days back to back of strength. And here we are with the last trading day yesterday on Friday to end the week with strength here, but rejecting at key resistance levels. And a lot of people are asking, could it continue the run or is it going to test back down towards $100? Now, here we are seeing how things played out on Friday. And within that volatility, our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 9.30 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 100% plus within minutes. And if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of our growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with Tesla rejecting at a key resistance of 124, but sitting sideways here within this consolidation. And we're going to break it all down in today's video, what the inflow versus outflow is showing and the born bear indicators. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned yesterday morning over at the discord. So the home run that I did was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge over the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run that I did was from our Netflix bot. Our Netflix bot sent out a bull indicator since 1035 AM. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 300% plus within an hour, guys. And if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with Tesla stock within this consolidation. As we stated earlier in the video, we're going to look at everything going on within the charts and also the price targets that Tesla has currently. Right. And what we see here, it's done a full transition from white referred borders, as I like to call it, the dip area to the rip area here of bright green bars. And if it's your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips to the rips, the rips to the dips and where the weakness and strength lies within the charts. And we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with Tesla stock under a bull indicator here since December 28th, canceling that last bear indicator. You could see that volatility there. There was a bull indicator in the pre-market, but the inflows had not crossed over. The outflows continue to dominate. And all this time since that date on December 19th and that bear indicator up here at around 153 in that double rejection, things have been going downwards and outflows had been dominating. Now, inflows crossed for the first time back up here on december 28th followed by that bull indicator and that full transition here so far on 42 vision now we have the inflows still above the midpoint here but the outflows are trying to pull it down and i'm going to share with you guys what it is that i would watch here going into next week and the next trading day so here we are with tesla under that bull indicator on the 30 minute same thing here on the one hour as well, but outflows have began, but not enough to destroy the chart to the downside because the outflows have not crossed the midpoint. Now, I'm going to share with you guys here, as you see it pop you up on the screen, the price targets that Tesla has right now. Now, we have both extremities, right? Below this level around the 80s, the average mid price is 200s, 
and the extreme bullishness is all the way up towards the 700 so a lot of people are asking well is this a dead cap bounce or the beginning of momentum to head towards those higher levels well we're going to look at this on multiple time frames and what the inflow versus outflows are showing so one of the first things going on here so far is that it bounced off its most recent 52 week low of around 107 to 108 it's been reversing here inflows pick back up for the first time in several days and weeks and right now it's done a full transition on the one hour chart now when we go ahead and look at this from bigger time frames such as the four hour you could see here how this is actually the first time in weeks and within a month that we see the inflows cross back over now the last time it happened was in the middle of december back here on december 12th and it rejected pretty quickly and things bounced back up went from around 170 to 182 and then rejected back down to these levels falling nearly almost 80 dollars now here we are with it at that level again and the question mark is will it continue with strength or reject and come back down to do the next leg down to newer lows or even retest that support there of the 52 week low of around 108 to 107. this is critical because we've seen this story before and is it the start of actual strength or the continuation of weakness of rejections back down because that's all it's done here for almost a whole entire three months or more actually so this is critical this is critical where it's at and we need to see no bull indicator just yet on the four hour as we see it and you could see that bear indicator st still dominating over the chart since way up here at 185 and as i pointed out earlier in the video it only crossed over on these outflows one time on the 12th and this is the second time that we see it since that bear indicator popping up and so far we've done the same transition that happened around that time why were fred borders to dark green and so far we've hit our first dark green and the question mark is could it continue to complete into bright green bars followed by a bull indicator and some real strength here so what is it that i would watch well on the lower time frames here it's going to be critical what's going on on the one hour as the inflows are trying to stay above the midpoint it's under a bull indicator we want to see that bull indicator not get canceled and continue that staircase effect here to the upside with strength and also on the 30 minute time frame when you look at it here it's fighting to hold itself up and if that crosses right back down it could stir up volatility or even bring it to retest certain support levels so we're under a bull indicator here no bear indicator and what's the first key level i would watch as support well back here at the lower extremity that actually rejected and bounced off of twice here within the last two days and that's 118 below that is 115 and if 115 gets broken through i would watch how things react down here at around the 110 area because that's the area where these inflows picked up back here on december 28th and to the upside the key levels that i'll be watching the first one is the double resistance here in rejection of around 123 to 124 area so i would just round that up to 124 and if that gets broken through the next resistance is up here at around 130 and if that is accomplished and this staircase effect starts forming to continue to the upside and these inflows pick up on multiple time frames the next resistance is up here at 145 as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money